Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Knives. It's your host, Fletcher, and today we're going to be doing a video about my collection. So to start it off, we've got my Leatherman Rev with their average 420 high carbon blade. Standard bit fare for tools and pliers. We've got my Rat 3. We've got 20 degree edge on. Pretty wicked sharp. Awesome little fixed blade. We've got my SE Azula 2. And the 1095, you can see it's gotten some use on it. My card originally was more lighter, like this color here. Great knife, by the way. And I have my clip on vertically rather than the horizontal. Um, I'm only able to fit three screws on, but it fits rather nicely in my waistband and I like to cross draw it like that. Great knife. All right, let's move on to the first case we have here. I have two cases. Hope this doesn't make anyone jealous, but I've seen collections out there that put mine to shame. All right. Right off the bat, let's start with the Shamans. XHP Cutlery Shop exclusive. That's with the DLC blade. Let's see, we've got Crewwear and Micarta from the original Sprint. Uh, you might be able to just barely make out the letters on there. Probably not with this lighting, but it's one of the originals. See, and then I've got Zero Shaman with MXG Deep Carry Clip. This one's got my edge on it. Great knife. Love the micarta and the Z Wear. I mean, I base I have three of them with the Crew Wear, and then actually my other one is right here. I'll put it on the other side. Great knife, by the way. I love all of them. Z Wear is a fantastic steal. All right, let's keep it going so this video is not too long. All right, we got S110V PM2. S30V. We've got the LMAX. This is their, oh, clip got caught. LMAX PM2. This was the Blade Ops exclusive that dropped this month. All right. Shift it over. Standard pair of three lightweight. S45VN blade swap into a... This was the M4 originally. This is how I got my M4 with the micarta blade. Let's see, we've got the S90V. Pair of three lightweight. That was a Distributor exclusive. We got the M4 lightweight. We've got the Knife Joy exclusive. Oh, and that M4 one was the uh, Blade HQ exclusive. This is a Knife Joy exclusive. I wish I'd bought two of these. I love the stone blue. I thought it was too light, and then I got one of these, and I was like, oh, wait, no, it's not. DLT Trading Exclusive, 20CV Delica. Super high bevel on this one. All right. Love the Zome, by the way. I was tempted to get one of those in Della's, but I got something coming that I got instead. Another distributor exclusive. This is a Native 5 Lightweight with the S90V. We've got a... Maximate Sage 1 with the liner lock and the cool gray G10. We've got a regular Sage 5 lightweight with the S30V blade. Yeah, I know, probably all my blades need to wipe down. I don't normally care about fingerprints, but they don't look too good on the camera. We've got the S30V blade, but it's also because I, I use my knives, so I don't tend to care what they look like too much. CPM4V, this is a St. Nick's Knives exclusive of the Native 5 Lightweight. 
I really like the colorway, and I love the ergos on the Native 5. All right, let's go on to the next one. I've got, uh, scoot this over so it's more centered for you guys. Here's my M4 blade swap from the Lightweight with the Micarta. Let's see, I've got two, so that's also another Maximate pair of three. Recently got this one. Let's see, I've got two of these, so I won't need to pull this one out twice. But I've got two of the Knife Center with the Smooth G10 and the Crew Wear. And then same thing for the... If I find a pair of three that I like, I tend to buy duplicates of it. Same thing with the DLT Trading. Black Crew Wear Blade. Normal Purple G10. Um, and then I have another one here. Let's see. CTX XHP. That is a cutlery shop exclusive, I believe. S45VN Pair 3. That's the standard with an MXG clip. And then let me grab the one I have in my pocket. The M390 Para 3 from DLT Trading. I got that on the second drop. Super excited that they did a second drop. I've got the DLT Trading 20CV Manix too. This knife really deserves more pocket time, and I don't have a chance to give it to it. All right. We've got the K390. This is the Indela in between size between the Endura 4 and the Delica. I really like the size. It's a good EDC size. Around the same size as the PM2. We've got the Spyderco Swayback. Love this knife for opening packages. This was in my top five favorite EDC steels video. Let's see. Got the Stonewash XHP Shaman. If you can tell with the Shaman and the pair of three are probably some of my favorite knives. I like the Manix too, but it's a great knife. Love it. So this is the DLT Trading Purple uh, G10 with the black DLC coated crew wear blade. Great knife, by the way. We've got an M4 Blade HQ exclusive Shaman. Definitely a user. I bought it like this, but I'm actually glad I am because it makes me want to use the knife more since it's already used. You gotta make sure to hook the clip under, otherwise it's a pain to pull it out. And then we got a Gail Bradley 2 that definitely has some patina on it. Love the grind on this knife. They did an amazing job with the hollow grind. All right. So that's most of my knives, but I separated them a little bit ago. I bought a second case, so I have a Spyderco case, and then I have a case for all the others. Which, I don't know if you can tell, but I have favorites. Alright, let's do a switcheroo. Alright, let's start from the left. This is a TRM Atom. Great knife. Love the choil. Used this during camping when I went to Utah for a week fishing. Phenomenal knife. Love it. I have an unboxing on this knife. Great ergonomics. Love that it's in 154cm. This is the Protec Strider SNG. I believe is what they call it. With the, I originally thought it was like G10, but that's my Carta. This is the SE Avispa with the SK5. You might be able to see there's some patina on the blade. 
SK5 as listed right there. This steel sh pretty similar to like 1080. Then I've got a Benchmade Mini Adamas with the crew wear. First production. Man, if I had to guess, this crew wear is definitely around 63 to 65, just like Benchmade advertises. Phenomenal knife. I love the way it fits in my hand. It's a little tank, and it's not too thick behind the edge, although there's enough steel here to definitely do a regrind if you wanted. My favorite OTF that I own, Guardian Tactical 035. Mine has the, let's see, it's on the other side, Elmac Steel. That's why I'm excited for the Blade Ops version. Great knife, the smoothest OTF I probably have or have ever seen. If you guys know one smoother, leave it down in the comments. Let's see. Newer acquisition, full-size Griptilian in the 154CM. Love this steel. I've got my own personal Rat 1 in the Aus 8 with my custom acid wash on it. And then I always do, I like tip up. All right. One that might make some of you jealous. 80, 20.5, I like the shark's foot. This one's in the OS 10A and the Grivery handles. Great knife. Let me know if you guys want to see a video on this guy soon. And I'll do a review or even just a comparison to how it pairs up to other knives. All right. Let's start. This is the Kershaw Blur with Cerakote blade. Blue anodized aluminum handles. This is the one in M4 by noted as the model number with the M4 Canonian design. I got this for 80 bucks as a sprint. That's pretty awesome. Protect Malibu. Let me know if you guys want to see a video on the Protect Malibu and how it stacks up. Keep my knives dry. This is the Way of Knife slash EDC house exclusive M390 Reblade for the Rat 2. Crown spined like a Sebenza, denim micarta, and then the titanium pocket clip. Oh my gosh, fantastic knife for the price. If you love the Rat 2, get it in this M390. This is the Kershaw Link in the 20CV. Definitely a softer 20CV, but the fact that you get 20CV for 70 bucks Amazing. Love the green handles. A knife you guys don't see a whole lot of. Oh, woo. Sorry about that. Bump the camera there. This is a S45VN small Sebenza 31 with the black micarta inlay. Phenomenal knife. One of my all time favorites. And if they ever make it in Magna Cut production, you'll probably see two more in here. Brand that doesn't get a whole lot of shout outs, but definitely deserves it. Asher Knives. This is their Nomad Frame Lock S35VN. This was an anniversary or no Christmas gift from my fiance, Audrey. Love it. Love the knife. The guy at Asher Knives, I believe his name is. Oh, I forgot his name. Super nice guy, though. I've talked to him on Instagram, DM'd him. Super nice guy. Definitely a guy worth supporting. It is foreign made, but for 75 bucks, you get G10 and S35VN. And then they are assembled in the US in Pittsburgh. Then I've got two of the M4 bug outs. This one's got one of my edges on it. This was a Smoky Mountain Knife exclusive. They have great customer service. They are great people. I actually, I thought someone had stolen this knife and I called them because FedEx said it was here and delivered and it wasn't and so they sent me another knife for free and they both showed up within a couple days of each other uh, but great customer service they were willing to fix it definitely recommend shopping from them this is a blade hq exclusive bug out in the 20 cv you can definitely tell which knives are my favorites as i have multiples of them and then the super classy i believe this is the 535-3 bug out 
Super nice with the carbon fiber. Love that knife. I actually just dropped that and carried that today. Along with my Paris 3, I'm still doing the month carry. Almost over. All right, we got my Civivi Elementum, the regular with the flipper and the D2. You guys already saw the unboxing video on this guy. New acquisition. Stropped it as soon as I got it. Killer slicer with that hollow grind. This is the Buck Bantam. I think this is their BLW. It's their light. It's their like in-between size. I got this to practice sharpening on a whetstone. Great knife though. 17 bucks. USA made. As noted by the USA made right there. That'd be a great starter knife for a kid. This is the Rat 1. Sorry, Rat 2. With my stone wash that I did my edge retention test video on. Probably needs to be sharpened again. This is my mini RSK Ritter Hogue. USA made and starting to get it without all that glare. 20 CV. Great knife. G10, deep carry pocket clip. Doug Ritter. If you don't know who he is, look him up. He campaigns for knife rights so that you guys in different states that can't have autos or anything like that. He tries to fix that for you guys. Great, great guy. And every time you buy a knife, the proceeds go towards Knife Rights Org, which is his nonprofit that helps fight for knife rights. Classic 940 Osborne. This one with the black coated blade. S30V aluminum handle. Probably my favorite version of the Osborne. Unless they did this exact one with an M4 blade. Then you've got my mini Griptilian. It's one of the first knives I ever bought with the S30V blade. It's been acid washed. And then I've got a little lanyard on there. Got a video on how to tie those on my channel. Great knife. Love it. Way better without the pocket clip. All right, guys, we're almost there. Almost at the finale. Got my Protec Les George S35VN. This is the SBR short bladed rock eye. They have a full size version now, which looks very nice. And if you have larger hands, I would definitely recommend it. This is my Launch 11, probably the best knife in the Launch series besides, throw one caveat in there, the Launch 1. Really like the Launch 1 and possibly the Launch 6, although the blade's a little too long for me. But if you like bigger blades, the Launch 6 is amazing. Another Guardian Tactical, this is the 025 GTX 025. This has a hologram blade. This is a nice little OTF, under three inches, LMAX steel. Let's see, I think it says, yeah, it says it there. It's gonna be a little hard for you guys to read it. LMAX is right there. All right. And then funny enough, this is my Microtech UTX 85, also in LMAX. But I actually am really glad that I got the LMAX because it's tougher than the M390. Definitely a stiffer action. I love the maroon color though, that deep red. Love that, especially with the black. All right, my final two. Civivi Button Lock Elementum. Love this knife. And I love that they did a stainless steel versus the D2 because that 14C28N, you guys can't really see it marked on there, but that's what it's in. Phenomenal Swedish steel. Super tough too. Look up Laren Thomas's article on 14C28N on Knife Steel Nerds. He calls it the best budget steel. All right, and then my last is my full sar my full size Plain Jane Sabenza with the S45VN titanium milled RGT pocket clip, titanium pocket clip, phenomenal knife. The small fits my hand a little bit better, but I like how thin the large gets behind the edge. If you guys can see that, it's a lot thinner than a lot of the knives we looked at because of that hollow grind. And it's definitely thinner than the small. So I love the way this cuts. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Please leave any comments if you want to see a review of any of the knives I have in my case. Or maybe you're wondering where I got them. Or maybe even uh, tell me some of your favorite knives from your collection. And let's get a conversation starting in the comments. You know, I'm not a huge fixed blade guy, but... I'm willing to talk fixed blade with you guys, especially these small ADC ones. Love them. They're great. Love the Azula too. You'll probably see a review on this coming up. It's my favorite fishing knife, despite it being a carbon steel.
Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a nice rest of your day. And as always, stay sharp.